what is going on everybody my name is pete and you guys are watching pay to drive and pay to drive vlogs day number 1586 coming at you once again with another brand new video hope you're all doing fantastic out there ladies and gentlemen if you drive for apps like grubhub doordash uber eats or any of the others you my friends are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy so get started right now for free Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And let's jump to the email, Triple Lindy, Thornton Mellon style, and here we go. All right, so... Uh, this person here, uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Okay. So this is from Megan and Megan says this, <clears throat> she goes, hi, Pete. I just wanted to say that I enjoy your channel. Thank you. Uh, this is the first time I've emailed you because it seems like something is going on at Walmart with DoorDash orders. I had two orders to pick up today. And when I got there, the lady asked me the names and I told her, and she also asked me my name and I told her. And then she looked inside my vehicle and said, you have a bag in your front seat. And I said, yes, ma'am, it's my DoorDash catering bag. And she said, well, we're not allowed to give out orders anymore if you've got items in your seat. And I told her, well, I have to carry this with me. DoorDash requires me to carry it. So she said, well, I'm sorry, that's our new policy. So I called DoorDash and asked them about it and they never heard of anything like this. So I don't know if the lady was just having a bad day or what was going on, but she said, because I had my DoorDash bag in the seat or on the seat, I was unable to pick up the order. So I don't know if any other drivers are having problems with this. I just wanted to let you know if you'd like to make a video on it, absolutely, totally worth it. Um, you're more than welcome to, and maybe this might help out other dashers who go in, go to Walmart, but I will make sure I won't go to that Walmart anymore. Thank you for all you do by letting us know what's going on out here at the restaurants and stores. Megan, uh, Megan, you're very welcome. I'm glad to be able to help you guys out. Um, this is news to me. Okay. This is news to you and to me. So, uh, what are our thoughts on it? Or at least what are my thoughts on it? Uh, one, I do think that the Walmart employee was probably having a bad day because I haven't met too many happy Walmart employees. Um, but I will say another thing. It's probably not a DoorDash policy. It may be an isolated policy from that particular Walmart because of a few bad experiences they probably had with Dashers in the past, probably most recently, uh, especially if you've picked up there before. So with that being the case... Um, I think it is in your best judgment to avoid that particular Walmart, like you said, uh, because if they're going to be hassling you about you following DoorDash protocol, then it's probably not somewhere you want to pick up at. Um, and it, again, the fact that you contacted DoorDash was the best thing to do. Always CYA, cover your ass. Uh, or was that cover yourself, you know, CYS, cover yourself. Um, so yeah, you, you absolutely did the right thing here, in my opinion. And uh, that's what I'm going to ask all the other drivers and dashers out there is, do you think that Megan handled this well? Um, and what would you have done in this particular situation? Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, Pete, I just wouldn't have accepted a DoorDash order to begin with. There are literally tons and tons of drivers and dashers that anytime a Walmart order pops up on their screen, they're like, nope, decline. And I don't blame them because it seems like more than half the time on Walmart orders, there's an issue either long wait times, low pay, or, you know, disgruntled, angry Walmart uh, employees that don't want to help you properly or give you a hard time. So in my opinion, it might just be best to avoid them at all costs. That just seems to be the common 
uh, you know, the common theme with Walmart orders. So that's my part of my question to all the drivers and dashers out there is, do you think she handled it well? And do you accept Walmart orders? You know, let me know your story. Let me know the details down below in the chat or the comment section. And of course, if any of you guys out there ever have anything you want to share with me, a comment, a topic, a question, a story, an article, whatever you got, send me an email paid to drive stories at gmail.com it's the best way to reach me or for a quicker response you guys can message me through patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive that link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment and any of you who sign up as a patron is my way of saying thank you is I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos so I'm going to do that right now when you hear your name called say hey Pete I heard my name we have uh Ron Grubb, our tier five driver. We also have John Birchfield, David Moore, Angela Counts McCarty, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Jimmy Santiago, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Laura Love, Tulsa Todd, Agus, April Jewett, Alan G. Van Horn, Nick Gilroy, Drew Hanor, Todd Rosemanith, Ver uh, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Tom Perry, Chadrick Howell, Brian Richardson, Candace Mitchell, Jenny Thomas, Joyce Hine, LaDonna Roten, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, Valerie Brown, Rebecca Swenson, and Melody Longs. So huge shout outs to every single one of you out there. Who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it'll be one of you. Let's find out. And moving right along, I hope every single one of you out there is using the free gas app called GetUpside. It's a very simple app to use. The link to download it for free is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. Uh, all you do is look for the link that says get the free gas app. You click on there. It tells you how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device you have. From that point, all you got to do is you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description make sure to download it today and of course if you guys want one of the classic ptd mod squad shirts you can get this one and many more like it at paidtodrivestore.com that's right everybody so go check out the link down below we have lots of brand new designs colors sizes you name it we probably have it on sale every day paidtodrivestore.com is the link down below go and check it out and if you made it to the end of this video simply leave a comment saying end 658 end 658 uh, very simple just lets me know you made it to the end don't forget to hit the free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever i post something new and if you wouldn't mind it hit that like button down below it just lets youtube know i'm doing a good job in fact leave a comment saying liked l-i-k-e-d just so i know you did it and uh until next time get that money get that honey keep hustling keep bustling and we'll see you next time right here on pay to drive and pay to drive logs and as always drive safe be well and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, everybody. Later.